Welcome back. The Center for Survivors is a domestic violence and sexual assault program in Columbus that's found a unique way to grab the attention of teenagers across the state. For the past 15 years, the center sponsored a peer education group that's dared to deliver a sometimes shocking presentation dealing with some very controversial topics. That's right. And our Lance Schwartz joins us now with that story. Hi, Lance. All right. Thanks, guys. Back in 1998, Rosie Heinisch started a group called the Speakers Bureau that went from classroom to classroom around Columbus. Ten years later, in 2008, the program transformed in a, into a more assembly-based presentation that more often than not captures students' interests from the beginning. What do you say? You got better things to do? I'm not good enough for you anymore? Revolution keeps it real. Can we not do this right now? They average about 24 presentations a school year, and each year, more than 3,000 Nebraska students will witness this unflinching view of real-life teen dating situations. Chris, we have this conversation all the time. You know I have practice. Well, I'm sorry that I actually love you and want to spend time with you. Abby Tessendorf feels it's important to keep it real. We tried before to take out the profanity, but it makes it funny. And I've always said that I'm willing to lose a few adults in order to keep the kids, because it's for the kids. If you want to reach kids, you have to talk like they do. You have to meet them where they are. See, this is what I mean. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm done. Don't walk Whoa, dude! Abby wants kids to recognize that they've seen these situations before. Our goal is to make the violence as real as possible, which does include profanity, which does include alcohol sometimes. You're waiting all night. Might as well have a drink. Oscar Rodriguez feels strongly about the mission of revolution. It's a lot dealing with men being, um, being a good man and doing the right thing when it comes to women and knowing how to treat a woman, knowing how to be a respectable man, and like having real values and morals. I drink way too much. I'm so dizzy. Amy Price feels it's imperative that domestic violence and teenage sexual assault is addressed in high schools around Nebraska. Don't you like me? I mean, you can see it in any school hallway, like it happens. So to be a part of something that is revolutionary, I guess, and because we are like the only high school like peer group talking about it, and it's such a huge deal that I'm just glad I can make a difference. Yeah, right. Not all of us are whipped like you. Right now, there are 44 students from Columbus High School, Columbus Scotus, and Lakeview that are delivering this very important message. I mean, like, no one's no saint or anything, but uh, it feels good to, like, actually be a part of something that's better than you are, bigger than you are. I love the way she looks. My ultimate goal is to empower kids to make safe decisions in their relationships. Sometimes the right decision can be the hard decision, but in the end, it can really save a life. Thank you. Over the years in uh, Columbus, Revolution has performed from coast to coast in Nebraska from Scotts Bluff to Omaha. If you'd like to see this revolutionary message delivered at your school, go to the Lance's Journal page at 1011now.com and I'll point you in the right direction. And speaking of the right direction, I'd like to invite you to take in the best of Lance's Journal 2013 on New Year's Day. The Journal Year in Review will air twice on New Year's Day. The first airing will be at 6.30 a.m. and the second showing will get underway at noon. Check it out, 6.30 a.m. and noon on Wednesday. And how about those Columbus students dealing with a pretty tricky subject and making a difference for their fellow teenagers around Nebraska? Yeah, great story. You know, it's tough being a teen. Yeah, we were all there. I wish they had something like that when I was a teen. Absolutely. Those are the kind of uh, memories that are going to last a while. Those are the lessons our teenagers need to hear. Certainly to some he very real situations. Right, and they need to hear it from their peers, not just mom and dad all the mm -hmm. time, but people their age as well. Definitely. Thanks, right. Lance. Very good. Well, up next, we'll have more from the Huskers in Jacksonville. Sports is next.